Cats were once thought to be mystical and magical creatures, but if canine companions are more your cup of tea, you probably think all cats are the same. Boring and uninteresting. Well, have you ever seen a Magi that looks like this before? What about this? Didn't think so. Buckle up as we take a look at some of the rarest cats that exist. But how do we know a breed is rare? According to the Cat Fanciers Association, the world's largest registry of pedigreed cats, there are currently 45 recognized cat breeds in the world. It can be difficult to track the population numbers of specific breeds because that kind of information isn't typically released to the public. But each year, the CFA releases a ranked list of most popular cat breeds that categorizes them by number of registrations each year. Simply put, the number of registrations corresponds directly to the number of cats born that year. That means the lower-ranking cats have lower birth numbers, making them rare. So without further ado, let's get this kitty fest going, shall we? La Perm We've all seen long-haired cats, short-haired cats, and even hairless cats. But what about a cat with a perm? The La Perm breed was named after the popular 80s hairdo for a reason. You'd be hard-pressed to find another feline that looks quite like a La Perm thanks to its extremely curly fur, which can range from wavy to tight ringlets or long corkscrew curls. Like a few other rare cat breeds, the La Perm was a result of a spontaneous genetic mutation in a regular litter of tabby cats. On March 1, 1982, Linda Cole, the owner of a farm in Oregon, watched a brown tabby cat named Speedy have a litter of six kittens in a barn. One of the kittens stood out from the rest. It was long, skinny, and hairless with wide-spaced ears. At six weeks, it developed a sparse, curly, short-haired coat with a classic tabby pattern. She named the cat Curly, and as more curly-coated cats appeared on the farm, visitors told Linda she was onto something special. She started a breeding program and established her unique cats as the La Perm breed, and the rest is history. They may look scruffy, but their coats are light and low shedding, meaning they don't actually require much maintenance. As of 2018, La Perms ranked number 43 on the CFA's popular breeds list, making them one of the world's rarest breeds. Did you know that cats don't have opposable thumbs like us? Instead, all the toes on a cat's paws are connected to their feet with hinge joints, meaning they can't perform basic tasks like picking things up. You know what else they can't do? Hit that like and subscribe button, duh. Why don't you go ahead and do that now? Prove to me you're not just a stack of cats in a raincoat. Turkish Angora As the name suggests, the Turkish Angora, which ranked number 35 in the CFA's 2018 list, originates from Turkey, specifically Ankara, formerly known as Angora. They're recognized for their characteristic silky white coat and considered national treasures in their Turkish homeland for their beauty and sweet temperament. In the 1900s, a breeding program was established at the Ankara Zoo in Turkey to preserve the breed after they were almost bred to extinction. But in 1962, American Colonel Walter Grant and his wife were allowed to take home a pair of Turkish Angoras named Yildiz and Yildishek, which kick-started a new breeding program in the USA. Although sparkling blue or amber eyes are the norm, perhaps one of the coolest things about the Angora is that it's common for them to have charming, odd-colored eyes. The condition is known as heterochromia and has to do with the amount of melanin pigment in the eyes. Turkish Angoras are extremely agile and can usually be found in unexpectedly high places, like the top of a door. So you'll have to keep your eyes open to the sky if you want to own one of these rare magis. Chartreux the stunning and mysterious Chartreux is a breed originating from France which is thought to have ancient origins. References to Chartreux cats can be found in French literature as early as the 16th century, when they were bred to be excellent mousers. Research has shown that the Chartreux probably originated in ancient Persia and came to France with knights returning from the Crusades. The first Chartreux were staples in French monasteries, where they became fierce companions for the Carthusian monks as they protected their grain stores from rodents. These incredible cats are best known for their pumpkin-colored eyes, desirable blue coat, and their rounded face shape, which gives the impression that they're smiling. They are intelligent cats with lightning-fast reflexes, which explains why they're so great at catching mice. Nowadays, 
case, they do less mouse chasing and more lounging about, as they're considered attentive and gentle family companions. But they're also incredibly rare, ranking number 34 on the CFA's 2018 list, which is highlighted by their cost. In fact, a pedigree chartreux could set you back an eye-watering $1,000 to $1,500. So you better break open that piggy bank. Turkish Van The Turkish Van is not only one of the world's rarest cat breeds, it's also one of the oldest too. The breed has existed in the isolated mountainous area of the eastern Anatolian region since the Middle Ages. This isolated existence helped preserve its unique features, until it was eventually discovered by the West in the mid-1950s. As you can see, this is a striking, silky cat with a white body and an extraordinary bushy tail. True to its name, the Turkish Van is thought to hail from modern-day Turkey's eastern Lake Van region. When Laura Lushington and Sonia Holliday were touring Turkey in 1955, they encountered some long-haired white cats with auburn markings on their head and bushy tails. The women were given two kittens who traveled with them, and the pair were shocked when they stopped near a stream or pond to see the cats paddling around in the water to cool down. Believe it or not, Turkish vans are sometimes known as the swimming cat because they have such a unique texture to their cashmere-like coats that makes them waterproof. The Turkish van ranked number 44 on the CFA's 2018 list, and are even considered incredibly rare in their homeland, where they're regarded as a national treasure. About 100 Turkish vans are registered each year, and they can all trace their lineage to the original cats brought back to England in 1955. Are you a cat person? Our feline friends might be intelligent and aloof most of the time, but they can also be pretty entertaining. Let me know your funniest cat stories in the comments below. The more chaos, the better. I might even get back to the ones that make me laugh the most. Now, where were we? Norwegian Forest Cat Cats come in all shapes and sizes, but have you ever seen a beast like this before? This is the Norwegian Forest Cat, and it's not to be messed with. The robust breed developed over hundreds of years of natural selection in a harsh climate, giving it a thick, waterproof coat that protects it against the freezing winters of Scandinavia. This badass feline originated in Norway and traveled with the Vikings during raids, keeping their Norse longboats and villages free of vermin. But by the 20th century, the Norwegian forest cat was already becoming a rarity in its native land and was at risk of total extinction. In the 1930s, plans were made to ensure the future of the cat, but they were interrupted by World War II which pushed the breed even further to the edge. Finally, in the 1970s, the Norwegians put a special breeding program in place to protect them, and King Olaf even designated them to be the official cat of Norway. Nowadays, they're a bit less rare, ranking number 14 on the CFA's 2018 list. Their large, hardy stature might make them look imposing, but they're actually a very social and people-oriented breed. Because it's so robust and resourceful, the Norwegian forest cat is the perfect breed for a busy active family. Who needs a guard dog when you've got one of these bad boys? Korat We've all heard about black cats being bad luck charms, but Korats are quite the opposite. This breed is a symbol of good fortune in Thailand, and were even given as gifts to foreigners as a sign of honor and good faith. The first mention of the Korat is in the ancient book known as Tamra Ma or the Cat Book Poems in Bangkok's National Library, which is thought to have been written in the Ayuda period of Siamese history between 1350 and 1767. The reason why Korats are so desirable is their stunning short hair coat color, which is described as silver-tipped blue, as well as their sparkling emerald eyes. In 1959, the first known pair of Karats were imported to the U.S. by Mrs. Jean Johnson after they were gifted to her husband when he retired from the foreign office in Thailand. Karats have a vibrant personality and are notorious attention seekers. They require the companionship of their families and can become withdrawn if they are left alone for too long or feel unnoticed. Sounds a lot like my ex. Korats are one of the world's rarest breeds, ranking number 44 on CFA's 2018 list and extremely hard to come by in the US because breeding limitations have been placed on them in their homeland of Thailand. Lycoy Werewolves aren't real, but werewolf cats certainly are. 
This is the Lycoi, which roughly translates to wolf cat in Greek. This is an experimental new cat breed created from a mutation in domestic short-haired cats over the last 10 years or so. The Lycoi, which rated number 33 on the CFA's 2018 list, was officially founded in 2011 after two separate sibling litters of these unusual, partially hairless cats were presented by Johnny Gobble, Brittany Gobble, and Patty Thomas. The founders did extensive health evaluations to check that the cat's unusual appearance wasn't caused by sickness or disease, and found that the Lycoi had been bred due to a naturally recessive gene. As you can see, the Lycoi has tall, pointed ears and sporadic patches of fur, while other parts of the body, like the eyes, chin, nose, and muzzle, are totally hairless. Despite their unusual appearance, Lycoys are very loyal and tend to bond well with people, making them the ideal choice for families. Am I the only one who thinks they kind of look like grumpy old men? Maine Coon Maine Coons have one of the most colorful origin stories you can imagine, because no one really knows where they came from. As an attempt to explain their large size, patterning, and bushy tails, one of the most popular legends is that the breed is the result of semi-domestic cats mating with raccoons, which of course is biologically impossible. Another myth is that the Maine sprang from the six pet cats that Marie Antoinette sent to Wiscasset, Maine when she was planning to escape from France during the French Revolution. The most plausible theory is that they're the descendants of short-haired domestic cats breeding with long-haired cats, which may have been brought to America by the Vikings or European sailors during the 1700s. Their muscular build and luxurious coat make them look like feline royalty. The breed was pretty popular during the 19th century, but at the beginning of the 20th century, they started getting rarer and rarer. Their decline in popularity was so severe that the breed risked extinction in the late 1950s, until a club was created to breathe new life into the breed. Nowadays, Maine Coons have not left the top five most popular breeds on the CFA's list. Valkyrie the Maine Coon can you imagine what cats would look like if they resembled these hilarious paintings of felines from medieval art? If one of these terrifying kitties were to step off the page, it'd probably look a lot like this. Believe it or not, someone hasn't just photoshopped a human face onto a cat. This is actually a baby Maine Coon named Valkyrie, who is owned by Maine Coon breeder Tatiana Rastergueva. It's not clear what makes her look so human. Perhaps it's her bone structure, round cheek, or old man beard. But the internet has totally fallen in love with her. So I just had to shout her out in this video. Peterbald The Peterbald is one of the strangest looking cats on this list. The first thing you'll notice is that they're totally hairless, with enormous ears that look like they could hear a pin drop from miles away. But don't be fooled. Peterbalds are often born with a light peach fuzz coat, which can change or be lost during the first two years of their life. So their apparent baldness isn't always a get out of jail free card for cat lovers doomed by allergies. They're a highly intelligent and athletic breed that are often sought after for their loyalty and general fun-loving nature. But the small number of Peterbald breeders also makes this cat one of the rarest in the world. They're a relatively new breed and were only discovered in 1988 in the Russian city of Rostov-on-Don, where they were originally known as the Don Sphinx. After being imported to Europe and bred with an oriental short hair, the new breed was recognized as the Peterbald. Because they lack fur, Peterbalds require a little more attention in the grooming department and should be bathed every other week. Hairless cats also have a higher metabolism, meaning they consume more food than their furry counterparts. So you better stock the cupboard if you see yourself as a Peterbald owner. Bermilla the Bermilla, which ranks number 39 on the CFA's 2018 list, is a medium-sized cat with a muscular yet elegant body that is best recognized for its sparkling, silky, silver coat. Their overall look is a little like a Burmese, but with a slightly sweeter, more open expression. The breed first emerged when British Baroness Miranda von Kirchberg purchased a male chinchilla Persian named Jamari Sanquist as a pet for her husband in 1891. Before having the cat neutered, he happened to bump into a precocious little lilac Burmese female named Bambino Lilac Faberg. When a cleaner left Bambino's door open one day, she was able to escape into Jamari's room and, well, you can guess what happened next. 
The result was a litter of four short hair female kittens that were so beautiful that the Baroness decided to embark on a special breeding program. The demanding and mischievous nature of the Burmese mixed with the easygoing and laid-back personality of the chinchilla Persian gives the Burmilla an irresistible, unique temperament. Nowadays, the breed is still incredibly rare in the United States with very few breeders in the country. The Burmilla is an incredibly loving breed and displays many kitten-like qualities well into adulthood. Havana Brown If you're a chocolate lover, this is the cat for you. In fact, chocolate delights is the phrase often used by the Havana Brown enthusiasts to describe their luxurious, silky smooth, milk chocolate covered coat, which showcases their brilliant green eyes. The breed was purposely created in the 1950s, breeding Chocolate Point and Seal Point Siamese cats with a dash of Russian blue. They were first recognized as an official breed by the Governing Council of the Cat Fancy in 1958 and were originally known as the Chestnut Foreign Shorthair before becoming the Havana Brown in 1970. Havanas are a curious, people-oriented breed that always want to be the center of attention and will be the first to investigate a knock on the door or a crash in the kitchen. In 1988 through 1999, Havana Brown breeders in North America were permitted to start breeding with other cats, like black or blue domestic shorthairs or chocolate or seal point Siamese to try and increase the limited gene pool. But the breed is still incredibly rare, ranking number 42 on the CFA's 2018 list. Who knew chocolate cats were so hard to come by? Tonkinese There's no doubt about it, the Tonkinese is one of the most beautiful cats you will ever lay your eyes on. Wrapped in a silky smooth mink coat with sparkling aquamarine eyes, anyone is sure to fall in love with this stunning breed. And as far as the Tonkinese is concerned, your whole purpose in life is to adore them. These preened pussies love nothing more than to curl up in your lap and bask in your affection. The modern Tonkinese was actually first developed by crossbreeding the Siamese and Burmese. The very first recorded Tonkinese was known as a Wong Mao, who was brought to the US in 1930. But there are mentions of the breed in Far Eastern poetry as far back as the 14th century. American breeder Jane Barletta decided to create a cat that was in between the Siamese and Burmese and set about recreating the Tonkinese from an earlier period. She worked with Margaret Conroy, another breeder from Canada, and the pair bred Siamese and Burmese to create fascinating litters of kittens with tan coats and aqua eyes. Although the breed is well sought after, it's still pretty rare ranking number 21 on the CFA's 2018 list. I don't know about you guys, but I'd feel inferior having one of these beauties in the house while I lounge around in my PJs. American Wirehair The American Wirehair is a unique breed that began as a random mutation in a litter of six domestic short hair kittens born on Council Rock Farm in Verona, New York. The first American Wirehair kitten was a red and white male with a sparse wiry coat. To his owner's surprise, every hair, including his whiskers, looked crimped and springy. Local cat breeder Joan O'Shea saw the kitten and was able to convince the farm owner to let her buy him. O'Shea bred the unique cat with one of her neighbor's female cats and was thrilled to discover that the kittens were all born with wiry hair, showing that it was a dominant gene. Besides looking like it has stood a little too close to an open flame, the American wire hair has no exaggerated features and is a well-balanced, medium-sized house cat. They're known for being pretty easygoing and are happy to lounge around, unless they're chasing insects with their natural hunting instincts. The breed was recognized for registration with the CFA in 1967 and has appeared at the very bottom of their list ever since, taking the number 45 spot in 2018 and making it the rarest breed in the world. Kalmani with one vibrant blue eye and another ranging from copper to bright yellow and green, as well as a heart-shaped face, high cheekbones, and shimmering white coat, the Kalmani is a shoe-in for any feline beauty contest. The name Kalmani means white gem, and the breed is thought to have been a favorite in the royal palaces of its native homeland of ancient Thailand. Like the Kurat, there are references to the Kalmani in the ancient cat book poems. 
For a while, the breed was a well-kept secret in Thailand, where they were given as gifts of good luck and good fortune. But interest in seeing these striking cats has grown in the West, and in 1999, Colleen Frameth imported the first Khao Mani from Thailand to the US and bred the first litter in North America. Today, the breed is still considered extremely rare, ranking number 38 on the CFA's 2018 Most Popular Breeds list. They may look regal, but Khao Manis are actually very naughty in nature, and will cause mischief at any given opportunity. Something about judging a book by its cover springs to mind. Bengal on first glance, you'd be forgiven for thinking the Bengal is a tiny wildcat with its leopard-like spots and regal prowess. In fact, this relatively new breed was created in 1963 by crossing a domestic cat with an Asian leopard cat, also known as Felis bengalensis, from which the Bengal derives its name. The goal in developing the domestic Bengal was to preserve a strong physical resemblance to its beautiful wild ancestor. At the same time, the Bengal would have the loving nature of a fireside tabby, which would make it a pleasant and trustworthy family companion. Just look at how adorable this Bengal kitten is! The breed was officially recognized in 1986 and has grown in popularity ever since, ranking number 5 on the CFA's most popular cat breeds in 2018. Thanks to their jungle cat relatives, Bengals are a very active breed and are constantly on the move, climbing to high places and investigating their surroundings. Bengals can also be trained to perform many simple tricks and will happily go out for walks on a leash or play fetch with their owners. Although they're excellent companions, you should probably know that Bengals are also very vocal. So you might want to invest in some earplugs. Caracal Aren't these the most adorably unusual kittens you've ever seen? Those ice blue eyes and pointed ears are simply to die for. But if you'd love to cuddle up with one of these caramel colored kittens, you should probably know that it'll grow up to look like this. That's because the caracal is actually a wildcat which is native to Africa, Central Asia, and India. Although they're not officially classed as big cats as adults, they're certainly medium sized and grow much larger than a house cat at 29 to 31 inches in length. They can also clock in on the scales at anywhere between 18 to 42 pounds, so these are certainly no lap cats. Although they're technically wild cats, several years ago the breed moved from the category of strictly wild predators to be considered exotic pets that can now be purchased with a license. But owning a caracal isn't a decision that should be made lightly, because they have completely different demands than regular domesticated cats. First and foremost, they need way more food. In fact, caracals like to eat 2 to 3 pounds of meat a day. They're also pretty boisterous and have been known to be destructive, so you can kiss goodbye to your new couch. These rare cats are probably best appreciated in their natural habitats. Which of these cats would you most like to own? If you love hearing about rare animals, why not check this video out next? It's about some of the rare animals you'll want to save that are dying out, so you'd better hurry. Thanks for watching, guys.